Hi everyone, I'm volcanologist Dr. Janine Krupner and this is my guest. Hi, uh, Janine, my name is Don Swanson. I'm a scientist emeritus, retired with the U.S. Geo uh, Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory and I'm talking to you from Hilo, Hawaii. Thank you so much. And how long have you been working on the Hawaiian volcanoes? Well, I've been working on them for probably a total of 25 years uh, or so during uh, two different stints. And during that time, we've learned a lot that we didn't uh, anticipate learning. Um, primarily, um, in the last 15 years, we've learned that Kilauea is a very explosive volcano. Uh, before that, we had felt that it was... Uh, rather docile and erupted a lot of lava flows, but seldom was explosive. But um, we've learned otherwise now. And in fact, uh, we found out that in, during the past 2,500 years, Kilauea has been exploding about 60% of the time. That is, uh, there were periods that were dominated by explosive eruptions 60% of the time. So our, um, our concepts of Kilauea have changed quite a bit. Um, during the last 15 or 20 years, and I'm, I've really been uh, excited to be a part of this. Yeah, well, that's not usually what people think of when they think of Kilauea or Mauna Loa or anything. Um, so what, do you, what to you is the biggest hazard for potential future eruptions at Kilauea, or the explosive kind? Well, you, you know, we could have, uh, uh, well, almost certainly will have in the next uh, centuries, uh, very large uh, scale uh, explosions that might have eruption columns going up uh, uh, 9, 10, 12 uh, kilometers, you know, way over 30,000 feet. Uh, there are going to be pyroclastic surges, which are some of the most uh, lethal kinds of volcanic uh, eruptions. And a lot of uh, uh, fallout from the air that would um, impact people living down downwind. So um, there's no way to anticipate when that's going to happen, unfortunately. Um, and so, you know, you, you can't make make predictions, but just based on what's happened in the past, you can forecast that these kinds of things will happen in the future. Can you think of any warning signs we might get leading into this kind of a eruptive activity? Mm -hmm. What we've, uh, what we think we found is uh, that uh, the these periods of explosions are ushered in by a big collapse of the summit of the volcano to form a, a, a deep and broad caldera. Uh, we had a small collapse uh, two years ago in 2018, probably not large enough to initiate an explosive period, although the jury is still out on that. But if we were to have a very large um, collapse that engulfed the entire summit region, I think the chances would be quite good that we would then enter into a period of these uh, violent explosions. Well, I feel very good knowing that this is one of the most well-monitored volcanoes in the world and that people like yourself have been working so hard to understand every aspect of it. So thank you so much for this quick overview. Um, I can happily link to a few more papers if you if anyone has any questions out there. Thank you for joining me for this volcano moment.